In this video I'm going to show you the correct use of the 3 quarter inch jawed mouse trap. These traps are made by Sleepy Creek and they come in two types. There's a, there's a double and a single spring trap. I haven't used a single spring so I can't comment on them. They also come in two finishes. One's gold plated and one's chrome plated. They do this to prevent rusting. The smaller the trap is the more susceptible it is to rusting so they plate it I guess the gold gives a more um, chemical resistant finish or something maybe it doesn't hold on to smells more I don't know this is the chrome plated trap I've fitted this one with a three millimeter chain one foot long so what I'll do in this video is prepare the trap ready to use I'll set the trap and then I'll set it out for the night and see what we get. One of the problems with these traps is they fall under the same laws as other foothold traps. In my particular state, um, they need a rubber padding over the jaws. So what I'll have to do is first modify it. What I use is just a rubber electrical tape. So what I do is take a, take a small section of tape and pitch it around the jaw, each jaw separately. Then you trim it back as close as possible with scissors. Okay, this is hard to do on tape, so you'll want to trim it a bit closer than that. Anyway, do that with both sides. And this is what you'll end up with. Try to make it as clean as possible. Anyway, now the trap's modified and legal. We'll make the set. First you'll have to find a shallow pan. Set the trap in. And fill that with some fine dirt. Use as fine a dirt as you can find, as these little traps can get gummed up quite easily by rocks and even small matter in the dirt. Break up any chunks in the dirt with your fingers. Wearing gloves isn't too important with mice, they're well used to human scent. So pat it down level. Now with these tiny traps I do prefer to use paper over the over the jaw just prevents the rocks and things getting underneath the pen and preventing it from triggering for this I will use a single ply of tissue paper so just peel that off and you want to cut it in such a way that it'll go under one jaw but over the other wind decided to pick up here Anyway, it should end up looking like that. So set that aside. And now you want to make a shallow depression in the dirt. Make it in the center of the pan. And lay the trap in. So make the paper lay flat. Then you want to cover that with fine dirt. Pinch it between your fingers as you do this to break up the dirt and find any rocks or sticks in it. Make the covering as light and fine as possible. Anyway, now that you've buried the trap, 
you want to lay some sticks either side of it about two mouse width apart you do this to direct the mouse what the mouse will tend to do is walk up with its side next to one of the sticks so the trap in the center will catch the inside leg then lay your bait in the center at the end of the pan the bait I'm using here is birdseed mixed with peanut butter now what has to be done is direct the mouse to enter from the front of the pan so what I use is a bit of a cardboard box cut out to shape and I've heightened the size just by stapling some paper around it it's not important what you use you can just sit a couple boxes either side of it on the ground or anything anyway the traps all set now ready to be left overnight what I'll do first is trigger it bit of an excuse to use the high speed camera looks a bit more dramatic that way like an explosion going off and you can see the trap had a good deep hold on the bit of wire we can also time it so that took 5 frames to close when filmed at 1200 frames a second so that comes out at about 4 milliseconds close time around a match you can compare that to like 20 to 30 milliseconds for a full size trap I'll leave a motion sensitive camera up over it so we can see what happens you might notice I've rebaited the trap with a slice of pizza that's one of the advantages of using this trap you can use anything I find pizza has the greatest response anyway there you go the poor little bugger let out a squeak and fainted he laid like that for about two minutes before finally coming to and trying to get away he didn't seem too distressed this catch was a double foot catch too it had him by the front end back foot Anyway, give the trap a try. Catch them wily mice that keep stealing your bait from snap traps. More humane than poisoning as well.